Well, every contest has to have a winner, and Joseph DeFreitas of Springfield, Illinois, seems happy to be this year's standard bearer of the coveted Chile Appreciation Society International's first place award. But frankly, chili cooking seems rather low on the list of priorities at the annual World Championship Cook-Off in Terlingua. Only a few vats of the bubbly stuff were fixed this weekend, and really, I think the affair is a chance for press bums and other hangers-on to get away from the pressures of their job and go wild out in the wilds. But I'll start at the beginning. Cameraman John Anderson and I hitched a ride out of Dallas Saturday morning at 6 a.m. on a small Cessna carrying some of the other local media types. A couple of hours later, we landed at what is laughingly referred to as Terlingua International Airport, where already small plane loads of New Yorkers and Californians were pouring in. And camper loads of Southwesterners were everywhere, all lined up for what is aptly described as a rock festival for adults with alcohol instead of pot. Terlingua's mayor is David Witz, actually a Dallas attorney who allegedly owns the land where Terlingua stands. Like any other good city official, Witz says he has great plans for his town. We have the finest bourbon renewal project in the history of Anglo-Saxon uh, jurisprudence. Witz offered his land back in 1967 to Dallas News columnist Frank Talbert when Talbert needed a little publicity for a book he'd written about Chile. Since then, these cook-offs have grown by leaps and bounds, turning a ghost town into a one-weekend-a-year metropolis. By the time you see this, Terlingua will probably have passed back into the hands of its four residents. And this multitude will be back at work, most of them wishing they'd never heard of Terlingua or Chile and at the same time making plans for next year's cook-off. Maybe I'll see you there then. For Channel 8 News, this is Arch Campbell, somewhere in Terlingua.